All right, missile incoming. Fire in the hole. Danger close. Hide your kids. Oh god, there we go. Nice. Dude, this may be the coolest command block creation yet. It's a tough competition. We've checked out a lot of cool things in the past, but missiles, everyone loves explosions, you know? And again, this is 100% vanilla, no mods from 1.11 right now. The way you get this thing to work is on the website that's linked in the description. The first command goes in the bottom command block. The second command, paste it in the top, go back to the bottom one, click always active and watch out sheep, you might, oh, you're good. It's floating in the air. It's very cautious of sheep that might be on the on the ground. You know, don't wanna, don't wanna suffocate them with command blocks. So here we go. More missiles mod by the Red Engineer. He's done a fantastic job on this. And the way we do it is uh, these resources here. There are six different types of missiles, all of varying degrees of damage and what they do. And then we also have the target over here. So let's make everything. Why don't we? You'll need four TNT for all of them, except this is the uh, the, the nuke, the atomic missile over here, uh, 10 TNT for that plus the nether star. So it's pretty expensive. And again, you can do this all in survival once you've spawned the whole command if you want to. So TNT on the ground, iron on the ground, water bucket on the ground. There we go. We have the water missile to start with, TNT, iron, and blaze powder, hell missile. You can kind of take a guess as to what these things are going to do. Uh, telemissile, although that one might come as a surprise. You're like, what is a telemissile? Well, I'll show you in just a moment. Got ourselves a super missile here. Then we've got um, the cracking missile, which uh, I, could be my personal favorite. And then, of course, we're going to finish things off with the atomic missile, which is uh, the, you know, it's a big one. Okay, but in order to make any of these work, we need to make the target. This is how you tell the missile where it's going to land. And each time you do that combination, you'll get three targets in case you're doing this in survival mode. And there's a, a finite amount of what you get. But we're in creative, so we can do this as much as we want. So first and foremost, you got to figure out where you want your missile to land. The target is universal. You don't need to make a different one per uh, whatever missile you want to fire off. We just want to make sure we're far enough away from that thing to where we're not going to ruin the command blocks when we set this off. This is a nice flat area. For the water missile, it's good to have sort of a flat area just because of how the thing works. So we'll put the target down right there. It shows up as just a, a barrier block. And then we'll put our missile down. It doesn't really matter where we put the, the missile down as long as obviously the command block chunks are loaded. So, we'll need flint and steel as well in order to set it off. So we're going to start off with the water missile. We'll just put it down over here. And um, then you just you, you light her up. Look at that. Look at this thing. How cool is that model right there? And then the, the different types of missiles are differentiated by the tip on them, which I assume is, is a player head, probably. And you got the TNT sandwiched in between the body parts. And then you got some... It's, it's so cool. You know the watch this. Okay, here we go. Freaking blasting off. Here it goes. It go and it goes like up into the stratosphere, accelerates like crazy, and then we head over here. Okay, wait for it. And then we just pour these poor sheep. No idea what is about to come. You can kind of see the smoke coming in. You can see the trail. Here it comes. Here it comes. Water missile number one and kaboom. Sorry, sheep. It's for science. You know, it's a lot of science that goes into these bombs and coating them and stuff. So the water missile uh, does a big explosion, as you would expect, um, but it leaves a, a lake. And so it works best when it's like a, a flat surface because then you can get a, a nice sort of even distribution of water across the lake surface and uh, avoid having just a cascade outwards. But, you know, in our case, it wasn't perfectly flat. So there we go. That is the water missile right there. Next up, we'll do the hell missile. You can probably take a wild guess that if that's what the water missile did. What's the hell missile going to do? We'll put our target down right here. Again, it doesn't really matter. I could set the missile up like right next to the target if I wanted to, but we'll put it down. Uh, we'll put it down over here on the hill. This could be like our, our launching platform. Okay, see a different tip on there signifies a, a different kind of missile. And again, just light it at the bottom with flint and steel. And it'll do its slow acceleration and then blast off into outer space. All right, let's wait for that thing to come back down to Earth. Take your wild guess. What's it going to do? What's it going to do when it hits? I think it might have something to do with, oh, the nether? I don't know. All I know is uh, fire in the hole, and boom. Yo, check that out. That pig man actually is standing on top of the... 
Were you given magical floating powers? Wow. That's pretty cool right there. That's that's pretty nifty. Somehow it spawned like right on top of the target and he's just floating. Okay. This one, as you can no doubt tell, uh, it does an explosion. It also spawns some pigmen in and basically, you know, converts a little swatch of your land into uh, nether looking kind of stuff. And it'll burn down anything that's too close to the lava. So uh, definitely use this in a forest if you want to have like maximum amounts of, of destruction and all that. Okay, so next up we've got the, the Telemissile, which is a cool one. It might not be exactly what you would expect given the explosive nature of, of the previous ones, but we'll put the target down here just because it's kind of cool when it lands near water. And uh, we'll just set the missile off from uh, from right here. Again, it doesn't really matter where that's from. This one has a bit of a purple tip to it because, you know, ender purple teleporting. Obviously, given the name, it has something to do with teleportation, but exactly what, you may wonder. All right, here it comes. I'll even stand close right here because there we go. All right, hey, <laughs> magically I'm up in the air. So the way this thing works is when it hits, it, it doesn't do like an explosion. It uh it actually just sends a few cubes of terrain up into the air. I sent off another one over here as well. So you get kind of a, a, a double impression of it. Um, so that's what it does each time. I, I believe that even if you're in survival and you stand there, you'll be fine as long as you know, you end up on one of these blocks instead of uh, just falling back down to the ground, but it doesn't actually explode. Kind of different, kind of cool, right? Now what you expected. Or maybe you're just like, no, nah, I, I knew exactly what that was gonna do because I'm good at predicting things. Anyway, telemissile, cool stuff. And then the water cascades down. That's why I wanted it to be next to water because I think that's kind of cool. Next up, we've got the super missile, which uh, it's sort of your run of the mill standard explosive what you saw me set off in the introduction and uh hey but we'll still give it another demonstration even though you've gotten a little sneak peek of it we'll do it in a flat area this time because i think you get a a better impression of what the damage is it just has sort of a you know standard tnt looking tip to it making you know that it's it's the basic thing but hey hey don't don't underestimate it it does some damage here we go plain old TNT and lots of it. Kaboom. There you go. Oh, did, wait. <laughs> I just got a I just got a bunch of experience because I destroyed a bunch of coal with that. How convenient. So um hey, you know, if you want to get some some easy experience from mining away lots of lots of coal, then there you go. Just make yourself a bunch of super missiles. Um uh, a quick tip though, if you want to reduce the amount of lag that you might get especially from the nuke that we'll be setting off at the end of the game. You can do slash game rule do tile drops and you can set it to false. That way when these things blow up um, the blocks, you don't actually get the, the blocks dropping from it and it might just, you know, reduce some of the, uh, the load on your computer. Here's another example of a super missile impact that I may have accidentally set off the first time I was trying to record the telemissiles. I put down a super missile, didn't realize it, and uh, blew it up here and definitely accidentally got a couple pieces of glass. Good thing the command blocks can't be broken by explosions, otherwise that would have been trouble. Uh, okay, anyway, next up we have the cracking missile, which may actually be my personal favorite. It's pretty cool, and we'll do it on this hillside here because I think it gives uh, a pretty cool effect when you do it on a more of a 3D surface. So here we go. We'll put down the uh, the target right right about here, and we'll set this thing off right over here. And the cracking missile has like a, a pickaxe kind of TNT looking thing on top of it. Set it off as normal, and wait for this one. It's it's pretty cool. It's really cool actually. All right, you ready for this? You're like, how does a pickaxe have anything to do with a missile? Watch, check it out. It actually like. After the explosion, it sends out all these fissures that keep going and going. It's not just like one straight explosion. It just keeps digging things out and expanding further and further until it finally stops. There we go. I think it's finally done. Look at that. That's a cool one, right? That, see, that's why I wanted to do it on like a, a hillside because you get like the varying degrees of the pillars sticking up and stuff. It's kind of like a, a big crevasse that it makes. Anyway, I even though yes, I saved the nuke for last. I like I like how this one goes because it's pretty cool and uh, unique 
I suppose. You're almost like, oh, wait, are the chunks just updating? Nah, it actually sends out the fissures that develop over time. So I really like the thing. In fact, I like it so much that I kind of want to set one more off before we move on to the... Uh, <laughs> Before we move on to the nuke, let's just do one more real quick here. Alright, here we go again! Lesson learned, uh, just, you know, make sure that you don't have... <laughs> you don't have a block next to it, at least to give it a little bit of space. Um, a block next to the target, that is. All right, there we go. Cracking missile number two. Ooh, we even get a little bit of lava into the mix this time around. Nice. All right, I, I can safely say we've uh, obliterated this hillside pretty nicely. The top down view, like, look at, that's pretty cool. Look, the fissure went all the way out to here. It's like everyone's worst fear when it comes to an earthquake is like the ground opening up and swallowing things. Um, yeah. All right, there we go. Cracking missile. Careful of where you put your target down. Make sure it has a little bit of space. Lesson learned. All right, everyone. The grand finale here. The nuke, which again, costs a little bit more TNT. Requires another star if you want to do it, but uh, it's real powerful. So let's set the thing off. You got this, uh, you got the, the radiation symbol tip on there. So you know it's pretty serious. And, uh... If you don't, if you don't really care about your world and you're like, oh, I'm going to start a new one, then this is a good way to uh, send it off because it ruins everything pretty much. Highly recommend not being in survival if you want to live to see the explosion and you're like, oh, it's pretty small. It just looks like a super missile. No, mm -mm, mm -mm, wait for it. Wait for it. Keep waiting. Keep waiting for it. Just keep waiting for it. That's not all. That's not all. This is why I said I recommend uh, changing the game rule for tile drops because it's going to be a bit of a doozy this time around. Still waiting for it. Still waiting for it. Look at all those gravel blocks flying into the air. Oh, just wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. to. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's a, that's a big one. That's a, it's a real big one right there. Okay. Yeah, see, you saw that first. You see the you saw the first little impact. You're like, oh, it's not that big. Mm, oh, ooh. And uh, apparently, radiation sickness is uh, hunger four. So there, yeah, probably more so just for the 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 green particle effects. So if you stand within the radius of the the fallout zone, uh, you'll you'll have this great hunger four. Which, if I were in survival, which I suppose I can switch myself to really quickly. Just to uh, demonstrate, your hunger is going to go down pretty darn quickly. I was The first time I set that off as a test, I was like, all right, I am not disappointed with how this turned out. That's pretty serious. All right, well, I think I'll wind things down there. If you want to try this out for yourself, uh, the web page and, and the video from the Red Engineer, that's linked in the description. And you can blow up your world if you'd like to do so make sure to like if you liked check out the playlist in the description if you want to check out more command block creations and subscribe if you're not already and you can check out the outro music you're listening to uh over on Marin music it's linked in the outro if you want that as well all right thanks so much for watching i'll see you later